iframes in HTML5. My name is Dion and this is for education.org. So we're going to discuss the iframes. What are iframes? Then some width and height and then the name. First iframes. What are iframes? Ooh, what's an iframe? An iframe is an HTML screen inside an HTML screen. So it's a nested screen inside HTML. So you see a browser and inside the browser you see another little browser screen. And you can nest as much as you want. Configuration. This is one iframe and you have to close it as well. For me strange, but you have to close the iframe. Um, and then which HTML file will it open? You define it with the source, the SRC. So iframe, and now you say in this iframe, I will open this website. And we'll see what that web website is about. Uh, the demo, let's go to the files. Uh, they are here. Open my template. I'm going to use that one and we'll call it iframe.html. Let's call it iframes. File, and I'm gonna say here iframes. So this is clear, this is the iframes. File, save as, and then iframes.html. Okay, now the iframe. I say iframe source equals, let's open the website www. Uh, vk.nl that's a Dutch uh, newspaper I like short names for the presentation so that's why I do this uh, this is dive and I have to close it down as well iframe okay this is the small p of course so this is the iframe file save and now I'm going to open my iframe this is the iframe I created and now inside the iframe it will open the website vk.nl takes a little bit longer but there it is and I can scroll it and so it's a browser inside a browser do you know who that guy is well it's a question for you <laughs> so that is the iframe now we're going to check the word width and the height uh, we can change the width with the attribute width is and then comes the amount of pixels you want we can also make it a percentage as well if you want to say it's well, it has to be 50 percent of the screen just type in the 50 percent then the height we can change that one with the attribute width that's not good it has to be height of course and that one has to be height as well i will change the presentation for you so the demo let's go on to see how that one looks so it was a really small screen we already seen let's say i want to change the height sorry first the width and i said the width has to be at least 75 percent of the screen i'm gonna save it refreshing so this is 75 percent of the screen I can also say, got some happy guys, I can also say height has to be, well, let's make it just 10 pixels, really small, but this is just for example, file, save, refresh, and only 10 pixels, that's really, really small, but it was an example. Now next one comes the name. When you have multiple iframes, and you can have multiple iframes, um, it's a must to have names with a navigation. You use the attribute name for it, and here comes the yeah, identifier for the iframe. Let's see how that will work. Um, I'm in here. Let's get rid of those. Well, let's keep the width. And... This is going to be my first iframe. I will call it name one. And what I will do is create some new files and I will call them iframes uh, underscore one dot html. So multiple frames with multiple contents. 
and multiple naming. So this has to be unique so it knows which frame is where. First, I have to create that files as well. So I'm going to open my template. I'll call it iframe. Let's call it x for here. And this one will be iframe underscore one. Give it a break. As well, file save as. This will be iframe underscore one dot html. Save. This is going to be iframe two. And this is going to be iframe three. So let's rephrase that. I have this is my main file with three iframes in it, and it will refer to the three iframes I created. And so let's see how that will look. Go to the browser, refreshing it. It's still opening the magazine vault count. That's not the one we want. So refresh the iframes. This is the one. And there we go. Uh, naming convention is not correct. This name is iframes. So it has to be iframe. File save. Refresh it again. Well, let's start from scratch. And there we go. So what I see, this is the frame and it has one, two, three frames. This is the frame number one, frame number two and iframe number three. So this is also the end. Watch also the next. So this is the end. So this is the end. Also watch the next video where we're going to navigate through those three iframes and that's going to be interesting. So iframes, an iframe is a frame inside a frame, a website inside a website. Then we can change the width and the height of it. And we also saw the naming. Naming is important, we have multiple iframes. This was Deal Dreshes for Education.org and I want to thank you for staying smart.